So sad that it should come to this We try to warn you all but oh dear You may not share our intellect Which might explain your disrespect For all the natural wonders and roars around you So long, so long and thanks for all the fish The Babel fish is small, yellow, leech-like and probably the oddest thing in the universe. It feeds on brainwave energy, absorbing all unconscious frequencies and then excreting telepathically a matrix formed from the conscious frequencies and nerve signals picked up from the speech centers of the brain. The practical upshot of which is that if you stick one in your ear, you instantly understand anything said to you in any form of language. The speech you hear decodes the brainwave matrix. Now, it is such a bizarrely improbable coincidence that anything so mind-bogglingly useful could evolve purely by chance that many thinkers have chosen to see it as a final and clinching proof of the non-existence of God. The argument runs something like this. I refuse to prove that I exist, says God, for proof denies faith and without faith I am nothing. But, says man, the babelfish is a dead giveaway, isn't it? It proves you exist and so therefore you don't. QED. Oh dear, says God, I hadn't thought of that, and promptly vanishes in a puff of logic. Oh, that was easy, says man, and for an encore he goes on to prove that black is white and gets killed on the next zebra crossing. Most leading theologians claim that this argument is a load of dingo's kidneys. But this didn't stop Ulan Kalufin making a small fortune when he used it as the central theme for his best-selling book, Well, That About Wraps It Up For God. Meanwhile, the poor Babelfish, by effectively removing all barriers to communications between different cultures and races, has caused more and bloodier wars than anything else in the history of creation.